In today's episode, I'm going to share with you some insight about why great candidates fail in the job interview process. Every single day, great candidates just like you fail in the job interview process, not because they're unqualified for the positions that they're interviewing for, but because they're simply leveraging the wrong interview strategy. To make matters worse, they oftentimes leave the job interview process without actually knowing why an employer decided not to move forward with their candidacy. By the end of this episode, you'll have a greater understanding as to why this phenomenon happens so that you can make the necessary adjustments to position yourself more effectively in the future. Let's talk about it. When great candidates fail in the job interview process, they typically do so because they don't understand one undeniable fact of the job interview process. This is a game of perception, not just fact. Let me say that again. This is a game of perception, not just fact. What do I mean when I say that? So as a candidate, you have to understand that this is a game of perception, right? And so great candidates tend to fail in this process because they're going based on the fact that they're a great candidate. OK, but the way I like to explain it is it's kind of like looking at a diamond in the raw versus a diamond that has been cut. Right. A diamond that has been cut. It's easy to perceive the value of that diamond because it's been cut. It's been polished. It's been checked for impurities and all of those different things. But if you find a, uh, a, a diamond in the raw, the untrained eye might not be able to see the value even though the, 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 the diamond in the raw might actually be worth way more money than the, 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 the actual cut diamond, right? And so just because the diamond in the raw might be bigger and might have more value, and, and, and that's the fact of the matter, the perception may cause people to bypass that diamond, right? The same thing applies in the job interview process. And so this is why you see great candidates to get involved in this process and then they end up failing, right? Because they weren't able to create the right level of perception for people to be able to clearly see the value that they would have by getting this person on their team. And what you also need to do is I want you to also look at this from the perspective of an employer. So you got to understand that an employer is at a huge disadvantage when it comes to hiring anybody for any position. It doesn't matter if we're talking about an entry level position at a startup company or whether we're talking about a CEO position at a Fortune 500 company, right? They're at a huge disadvantage because they can only rely on three data points when it comes to making any hiring decision. No matter how important that role is, they only have three data points to rely on. And so I want you to understand these three data points so that you can better position yourself for success in the future. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so data point number one, what do you say about you, right? And when I say, what do you say about you? I'm talking about what's on your resume, okay? So as a candidate or as an employer, the first data point you have to rely on is what a candidate submits on their resume. But here's the reality though, that can be manipulated, right? So like as an example, if I wanted to go on my resume and say, hey, I'm the president of the United States, you would know I'm lying. I would know I'm lying. And everybody involved in the process would know that I'm lying. Right. But there's nothing stopping me from doing that if I want to. <laughs> OK, now I would never do that, but I'm just making this as a point. And as a matter of fact, I saw a um, an article uh, recently and I wanted to share this with you because I thought it was very interesting. According to CNBC, 55 percent of Americans have lied on their resume at least once, according to a recent survey uh, from Standout CV, uh, which surveyed 1,785 Americans that were 18 years of age or older um, who were employed between October 12th and October 26th of 2022. OK, so what I want you to understand is they're saying that over half of the people who were applying for jobs at least lied once on their resume. So if you're an employer and you kind of understand that people lie on their resume, you wouldn't be so quick to just jump in and believe whatever you see on the resume. Right. OK, so that's the first data point that I want you to be thinking about. Data point number two, what do you do in the interview process? OK, 
So here's the thing, when it comes to what you do in the interview process, I'm really talking about your interview skills, right? And so here's the reality, that can be manipulated as well. Some people just naturally interview better than others, right? Some people uh, have the luxury of maybe working with somebody like myself or, or someone else who uh, can train them on things that they can do to improve their odds to be successful in the job interview process, right? Um, uh, and then also, like as an example, like nowadays, uh, companies really like to uh, leverage technology in the interview process. So they'll make candidates do like virtual interviewing where they get on camera, right? And now, I, you know, I was a mass communications major when I was in uh, college uh, and I specialized in broadcast production technology. And even though, you know, I got my degree and I, I you know, I had a lot of experience to this day, I still uh, feel a little bit awkward when I first start off jumping on camera. So if I feel awkward jumping on camera, can you imagine what somebody else feels like when th that's not any, that's not a part of what they do at all from a professional standpoint, right? They don't have to ever get on camera, but yet in the job interview process, they're being asked to get on camera and be judged, right? <laughs> judged based on the perception that they create based on a skill set that has nothing to do with what they actually do. But here's the reality, man. And I, I talk about this in my book. You have to see the world as it is and not the way that you want it to be, okay? It doesn't matter that uh, it doesn't make sense. If it makes sense to that hiring um, decision maker, then that's what's gonna happen in the job interview process and you need to be able to prepare for that, okay? But what I want you to understand is this second data point, which again is what do you do in the job interview process, that can be manipulated, right? So therefore, hiring decision makers can, you know, they can't really just rely on how well you're able to actually interview in the interview process. And lastly, data point number three, what do other people say about you, right? So when I talk about this, I'm talking about things like reference checks, background checks, maybe assessments, uh, any testing or whatever that a company may um, desire for a candidate to go through. Um, uh, this is all, this is all third party information typically. Okay. So what do other people say about you as a candidate? Right. Um, uh, but all of these things can be manipulated too. <laughs> okay. Um, there's all kinds of games that can be ran. And furthermore, even when it comes to like standardized testing or, or let's not say standardized testing, but when it comes to like, uh, uh, you know, these assessments and things that they have candidates go through. Some people are just naturally better at going through those uh, type of tests than others, right? But the reality is, is just because they may ace a, a test doesn't mean that when they get on the job, that they'll actually be good at the job, right? And so again, what you got to understand even about this data point is that that puts a hiring decision maker in a tricky position because essentially, when you look over these three data points that I've shared with you thus far, that hiring decision maker, even after all this stuff, right? Again, data point number one, what do you say about you? Data point number two, what, uh, how well do you interview? Data point number three, what do other people say about you? After all three of these data points, a hiring decision maker is still in a position where they are forced to make an educated guess. That's what it all boils down to. So as a candidate, okay, as a great candidate in particular, okay, what I want you to do is I want you to understand that these data points exist. And these are the only three data points that a hiring decision maker is going to be able to leverage in order to make a, a hiring decision. And so as a great candidate, it is your responsibility to look at these three data points and figure out how you can create the highest level of perception that's in your favor, okay? Without lying, without exaggerating, or without embellishing, okay? But please understand, when you see great candidates that fail in the job interview process, in one of these three areas, they have come up short, okay? And because they have come up short, the hiring decision maker has decided not to move forward with that candidate, okay? But if you can do a good enough job of positioning yourself uh, well in these three data point areas, the odds will go through the roof that you will be able to get a job offer from that opportunity. Today's episode is being brought to you by The Ugly Truth About Getting Hired, how to land the job of your dreams regardless of the competition. Every single day, great candidates just like you fail in the job interview process. 
not because they're unqualified for the position that they're applying for, but because they're leveraging the wrong interview strategy. Most great candidates fail because they don't know how to strategically position themselves as the most valuable candidate in the interview process based on the problems that the hiring executive is looking to solve with that hiring decision. In this book, you're going to discover a step-by-step -step interview system that will help you exponentially improve your odds of landing a top dollar job offer with ease. You can pick up a free copy of this book today by heading over to www.theuglytruthbook.com. That's www.theuglytruthbook.com. You can pick up a free copy today, so don't wait. Again, that's www.theuglytruthbook.com.